Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victrola Guy with another in the series. Well, as promised in one of my last videos, we're going to be recording on the 1878 Edison demonstration tinfoil phonograph, and this time we're going to be recording on genuine tin foil. Now, a friend on YouTube sent this to me, and uh, a couple of pieces, um, 18 inches long and about two and a quarter inches wide. So it's the perfect size for the mandrel. Now, one thing that's really interesting about tin foil is, first of all, it's nothing like aluminum foil. It is absolutely limp, as you see. It's not crispy or crunchy. It doesn't make any noise. And if you didn't know this was tin, you would think it was lead. It is really heavy. It is nothing like tin foil at all. Unfortunately, I did an initial experiment with tin foil, and it is... 100% more noisy than aluminum, at least it is on this machine. And so I'm going to do a, uh, a genuine test to see what kind of recording I can get on tin foil. My first attempt was just terrible, just awful. And I was really, really disappointed because this machine is designed to record on tin foil. But so far, uh, aluminum and copper have performed 100% better than tin on every test I've ever done. So in any case, we're going to put this on the machine. Now since it's not sticky back, what I do is I went down to a uh, art craft store and I got uh, a jumbo glue stick that's acid free. Actually made for photography. Mounting photographs. And so I just take uh, this acid free glue and just apply some directly to the tin foil itself. And I put it on th fairly thick, and then this is, I'm going to stick this directly to the mandrel. So I've just added some glue, and I'm going to simply lay it on the mandrel on this end and just rub it down. There we go. Now, keeping some slight pressure on this, go all the way around, and I'm off a bit, so pull it over just a hair, and then run a bead of glue across the foil, not the mandrel, and then glue this down. And there we have genuine tin foil on the tin foil phonograph. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this edge over. Like I said, this is really soft. It is nothing like aluminum foil at all. It doesn't make any noise. It's really, really limp. It's really, really soft. And it's really heavy. Like I said, when you feel it, you would think it's made of lead. It is really um, substantially heavier than aluminum. Probably three or four times the weight, maybe more than that. I mean, it's nothing like aluminum foil at all. And unfortunately, like I said, my first initial experiment was really bad. Uh, this foil is just so noisy. It was uh, really surprising. I thought this would be the perfect answer to uh, the foil I've been looking for. Unfortunately, uh, I've used some aluminum foil that, like I said, works 100% better than tin foil does. Okay, we've installed our foil. Get our glue stick out of the way. We'll wind the mandrel back to its starting point, find our first groove. I think that's it right there. And you can hear how noisy this is, just that uh, little bit of movement. And uh, I'm going to back off this stylus just a bit. Now you can hear how noisy that is when I turn it. So it's going to be at least that noisy on the recording. So I've got my very first groove started, and I can probably go a little bit deeper, but I've, I've uh, never really experimented with tin foil, so I want to make sure I don't tear through it. But the machine is, has been set up for copper and aluminum, so uh, I'll try that setting and see what kind, that's a deep, deep groove, let's back off a little bit, 
what kind of recording we can make. Okay, so I've got my stylus holder locked into position. My depth of cut is set. This will be my second attempt on recording on genuine tin foil on the 1878 demonstration tin foil phonograph. So let's see how we do. And of course, Mary had a little lamb. Hello, hello, hello! Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! Now you can hear how loud that uh, background noise is. We've got good modulation in the foil. And if you notice, I'm trying to crank this machine much slower to give me more recording time. So it's just a matter of trial and error and getting used to cranking the machine. And of course, you have to crank it at a constant speed. So we're back to our very first groove. We recorded with a speaking tube. We'll install a horn. Here is a recording on genuine tin foil on the 1878 demonstration tin foil phonograph. Alright, so the background noise is exponentially louder than recording on aluminum or copper. So tin foil, I suppose, worked when there was nothing else. But obviously, the other recordings I have made demonstrates that aluminum is much superior to tin uh, in making uh, a mechanical recording on a tin foil phonograph. Play it one more time. So, with all the recordings I have made on this machine, uh, tin foil has given the very worst results. Uh, every other foil I've tried, every other aluminum foil and every other copper foil I have tried made a better recording than tin foil. Uh, that's interesting. As I said, uh, this is something new. Uh, I've never recorded on tin foil. This is the only second recording I've ever done. But uh, you can see that it has, I don't know if you can see it or not, it has good modulation in the grooves. It's just, it's so noisy, and the recording itself is really weak and way in the background. Whereas I've used some aluminum foil and some copper foil that would make a voice recording that's almost as good as a cylinder. Um, seriously, I've made some really decent recordings on this machine. And I've just been continuing the experiments to find what works the best that costs the least and that uh, doesn't require you to sit here for 20 minutes setting up the machine. Copper worked really well. Uh, I've found some aluminum foils that have worked really well. But as far as the quality of the recording, tin foil just does not work very well at all. At least it doesn't on this machine. So uh, I just wanted to document the experiment. Uh, as I said, uh, a friend uh, sent me like five pieces of this foil and this like I said this is nothing nothing like aluminum foil at all it is really really soft and it is really really heavy and thick and really malleable nothing like aluminum foil at all so uh, again I just wanted to document the experiment as always if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email the Victrola guy at gmail.com and I'll be continuing my search for uh, other foils Aluminum foil, copper foil, there's also steel foil, there's brass foil. Uh, it's just a matter of finding them and A, paying for them. Uh, the copper foil is incredibly expensive, coming out to sometimes 4 and $5 per recording. So uh, I'll be concentrating on, obviously, on finding something that's cheap, thus aluminum foil, but works well. And uh, as I said, I've made some really decent recordings on this machine. And by far, these are probably the worst results that I've gotten. 
So tin foil, at least on this photograph, cannot compare with aluminum or copper at all. So again, I just wanted to uh, document the experiment. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. The Victrola guy at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.